lurking deep below the surface of the ocean, they are some of the stealthiest ships in the world. This is five things you don't know about submarines. Ohio-class ballistic missile submarines are configured to carry up to 24 Trident II missiles. Since each of these missiles holds up to four hydrogen bomb warheads, the entire submarine can be armed with a total of 96 nuclear warheads. Depending upon the exact type of warhead, each one of these nuclear bombs packs between 7 to 30 times the power of the first nuclear bomb that was dropped in Japan in 1945. This means that overall, one Ohio-class submarine is capable of creating up to 2,880 times the destructive power as the explosion that leveled Hiroshima. It's a well-known fact that the crew of a submarine qualifies for special incentive pay. But do you know how this financial bonus originated? Everything looks normal from here. Believe it or not, some mariners owe their higher pay to President Theodore Roosevelt. On March 25, 1905, Roosevelt boarded the USS Plunger and ventured beneath the waters of the Long Island Sound. During his two-hour trip, he became convinced that a submariner's job was not only extremely difficult and hazardous, it also required the utmost training and nerve. So, after he emerged, Roosevelt declared that all enlisted men who were qualified in submarines would receive $10 per month above their rating, as well as an extra $1 a day for every day they were submerged underway. Additionally, any sailor who was assigned to submarines but not yet qualified would be paid an extra $5 a month. Signed into effect with an executive order, this was the start of subpay. First built in the 1970s, Ohio-class submarines are specifically designed for extended war deterrence patrols. In fact, each ballistic missile submarine has two full crews, called the Blue Crew and the Gold Crew. They rotate deployments in order to minimize the sub's time in port. While the exact duration varies, the sub's average patrol length is right around 70 days. However, the longest recorded mission for an Ohio-class ballistic missile sub is actually 140 days, a record that was achieved by the Gold Crew of the USS Pennsylvania in the spring of 2014. In the months following the attack on Pearl Harbor, U.S. forces throughout the Pacific were desperately attempting to halt the Japanese advance. To help relieve the besieged American troops fighting on Corregidor in the Philippine Islands, the submarine USS Trout navigated through dangerous enemy-controlled waters to deliver 3,500 heavy artillery shells on February 3rd, 1942. But when her much-needed cargo was unloaded, a problem arose. Without the weight of the ammo to act as a ballast, the submarine could not properly submerge. To resolve this issue, the Trout's captain asked that 25 tons of sandbags and rocks be loaded into the sub's compartment. But what he was given instead was 20 tons of gold bars and silver coins, the most expensive ballast in history. This precious cargo, which was valued at approximately $10 million, had been removed from Philippine banks in order to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Japanese. The trout transported it all back to Hawaii.
In the 60 plus years since the USS Nautilus introduced the world to nuclear powered submarines, the United States Navy has lost just two nuclear subs at sea. The first, USS Thresher, sank on April 10, 1963 during its sea trials with a loss of 129 men. This ship with 129 uh, fine souls aboard is lost. Today, the Thresher remains the world's worst submarine disaster in terms of lives lost. The second, USS Scorpion, went down five years later on May 22, 1968, with 99 men on board. On August 3, 1958, the USS Nautilus famously became the first vessel in the world to reach the geographic North Pole. But while Nautilus steamed beneath the Arctic ice, she never actually surfaced. That distinction belongs to another submarine. Do you know what sub was the first to surface at the North Pole? If so, post your answer below or reach out to us through Twitter using hashtag 5ThingsYouDon'tKnow.